one of my subs made a sick D Rose design and I loved it too much so I was like bro please let me do some lighting on this because I just love this piece too much. His Instagram is Cam's World with two D's underscore. You guys see it right on the screen. Go check him out on Instagram, man. And let's get right into this. The main thing that I want to focus on this design was just bringing out the lights from the TV and then just adding a subsequent uh, light source as well on top of D Rose just to like bring everything on the piece together because it's not that I didn't like the piece, but. I just saw the composition and I was like, ooh, I, I have been wanting to like just edit some of some sub uh, photos and just work on my lighting too. So this is this is like the perfect opportunity with this dope composition by Cam. I got Cam uh, did his thing on this. So I just wanted to add some lights and just fix up everything and just like kind of just make it down though, just more vibrant, I guess. It's like a dark scene, but still kind of keep it vibrant you know what i'm saying so i added like what i used a lot on this is a lot of linear dodge and multiply um like i said in one of my previous videos i believe that i said i said i have been using linear dodge and multiply a lot and the reason for that is because it's like literally the perfect two it's like yin and yang linear dodge is gonna bring you out like bring out lights that you want to brighten things with and you don't even have to do too much to bring out um, that much light with linear dodge because it's very strong and it's also just very accurate 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 for your compositions when you want to bring out lights and things like that so when like what I say when I when I'm using linear dodge is all right I'm not gonna go overboard and the same with multiply multiply you don't have to go overboard either either so that's why I don't use hue and saturation as much anymore so yeah that's what i wanted to use like mainly on this is just linear dodge and multiply working on those blend modes to bring everything in this composition together and uh i'm using like solid colors solid fill layers and then i'm just masking them out and adding light as i want to when you add a solid color like a for the full layer you can just add them those lights on as you want and go go at your own pace whatever it may be instead of guessing where the light's gonna be use a layer mask and paint on white because it reveals black hides simple man it's really cool and i really liked how this came out um cam did a really good job on this the composition was super dope and i just wanted to add my own little touches on it and i'm glad that he gave me the opportunity to work on this psd right here going forward i want to start doing more of this where i'm editing your guys's photos that you maybe have sent me or if you want me to edit your psds whatever it may be you know just touch them up and stuff like that i think that could be really fun and really cool going forward but um with that being said guys this is the final that i came up for this derrick rose design you guys let me know how, how you like my my edits on this and um make sure you guys definitely go give my guy cans world a follow on, on the gram man give him a follow on the gram check him out dope content all the time and that being said guys i appreciate you guys showing so much love on my videos and just supporting me 24 7 means a lot that being said it's been castle scope stay scope guys peace